Hello, my name is Russell Rozak. I'm a consultant psychiatrist in the uh, in Havering. I'm also associate medical director and uh, um, head of R&D, and I'm also the clinical lead for the Community Mental Health Transformation. The reason I'm making this video is really to talk about the last bit, the Community Mental Health Transformation. Um, it's probably the largest program of investment into mental health in the last 20 or so years. It's just under a million, uh, a billion pounds worth of investment across the country in uh, new community mental health services. Um, in exchange for that investment, which amounts to a few million extra funding a year, every year in NELFT, um, over the next three years, it's going to be building up over the next three years. In exchange for that investment, NHS England have talked about uh, the way in which they also want us to change the nature of our services. They want us to change our community services and their structure so that we're able to work into more localised teams that aren't borough-wide anymore, like our current access and recovery teams, but they're localised based around primary care networks. So they're more familiar with the sort of a local area that a GP and, and a sort of group of GPs covers. So it's more local. We work with a, a, a smaller group of a service users within each team. Um, but as well as that structure change, they also want some culture change in the way that we deliver our services in terms of learning some extra skills to work systemically, work with families, work in a trauma-informed way, have more psychology within the teams, so sort of bringing um, a, a psychologists inside the teams, not having kind of, sort of separate psychological service as the only port of call for therapy. Um, in addition, also having peer workers as a core part of the team, so lived experience can make a big difference to the uh, the way that we uh, we talk to people, the way that we listen to them, and the way that we can demonstrate that actually, you know, there's some there's some people who can really show by their own example uh, that the possibility of recovery and uh, and the, uh, the possibilities that exist for their future. Um, so. You know, we are now undergoing a major program of change, but it's a gradual program over three years. So there's no big bang. Every, everybody suddenly changes. Over the next few months, we'll be launching one of these new teams. They're called mental health and wellness teams in each borough. Um, and as we launch those teams, we're going to evaluate how those teams work. We're going to have a look at the new workers in each team, the new psychologists, the new peer workers, also family intervention workers and mental health practitioners, physician associates. So look at these new roles that we're creating to join these teams. Uh, and then we're going to see how that does and how the services respond and how um, you know carers respond and how staff feel about this new way of working. And then we'll take that feedback and feed it into the next wave and the, the next year when we'll build another team in each borough. And then the, the third year we'll finalise building three or four teams in every single borough. So this is a programme of gradual change, but significant change that we hope we can all get involved in. And we really want it to be bottom up so that the staff are deciding as much as possible how these teams will work, and how our new ways of working will actually and be implemented. We've got working groups for staff to be involved in all of those processes which are uh, about to launch very soon. This is an exciting uh, time. We also know that it's a time of great, great pressure on our services. Post-COVID there's been huge influx of referrals and a lot of pressure and capacity and we're continuing to kind of argue the case with commissioners and others to increase our funding as much as possible um, but at the same time NHS England are uh, rolling out this transformation and we really want to be part of that too and make sure we don't miss the opportunity to really improve our services. Uh, it's of course going to be difficult with all the pressure we're under right now but I hope we can make a real difference to patient care ultimately and improve the outcomes of uh, the population and the service users in our area. I hope we can all work together in that process uh, and look forward to working with as many people as possible uh, to deliver the change. Thanks very much.